Hello everyone, this is Christy with MyScrapbookEvolution.com. It's time for another edition of the Sustainable Souls Project. Before I share my art journal page, be sure after the video to go to the notes below. You'll find a link to my blog post about this art journal page and there you'll find links to the other projects from the artists who are participating in this collaboration. I started off the project by developing a drawing of a beekeeper queen and here you're going to see that drawing as it takes shape. I stopped and took photos along the way to show how she developed. I drew her on watercolor paper because I'm really enjoying working with watercolor and a little bit of acrylic and ink at this point in time. But I do want to put her in my art journal. To put her in my art journal, I used a craft knife to cut her out. And you'll see that I'm just rotating the page around so that I can get to some of the little detailed parts that stick off of the main image like the leaves and her antenna. I'm actually going to set aside the pieces that I cut and I'll be putting them on another page in my art journal because I don't want to waste anything. I'm working in one of my recycled magazine art journals as I do for all the Sustainable Souls art project collaboration. I am not going to seal in these pieces of watercolor paper with gel matte medium at this point because I want them to retain the property of the watercolor paper. So I'm using scrapbook adhesive and I'm just randomly sticking them down in different spots of the magazine where I want to cover parts of the images. Now I had already started with an art journal page that I had created previously and I just figured out where I want to place her and I'm using an Uniball Signo waterproof black gel pen and some stencils with a honeycomb design behind her and I'm just kind of moving her around trying to figure out how I want her placed with those stencils. As I mentioned, the page was previously created. I just had randomly used some spare yellow and black paint from some prior projects and I had covered up portions of the magazine and I felt like this would be the perfect page to add my Honey Bee Queen Beekeeper. I finished with the larger stencil and I found another smaller honeycomb stencil and I'm just adding some little bits of texture paste just to give a little bit of dimension to the page. Now it's time to add her to the page permanently. I used a little bit of scrapbook adhesive here. I'll seal her in in a minute. For now I'm going to take some different colors of these um, watercolor crayons and just kind of highlight around her with a little bit of yellow, gray, and white. Try to lift her up out of the layers of the page just a tiny bit.
So the scrapbook adhesive didn't stick her down as much as I wanted to, and I want to kind of make more of a seal and keep her from activating. So I'm very carefully using a gel matte medium over the top of her, and I say carefully because she does have watercolor and ink, and this is a wet medium, so I can activate those watercolors and smudge her. So I'm just sort of doing that kind of cautiously. Although it's hard to tell with the speed of the video, I am being cautious about it. And just sealing her into the page. Now I had drawn a couple of bees on her and I wanted to add a few around the sides. You can see me rotating the page to do that. The first step for me to add those bees is to use a little bit of this white paint pen. It's a Posca paint marker and that sort of adds as like a layer of gesso. And now I can come back in with my gel pens and different markers and color the bees in and they stand out from that yellow acrylic painted background. You're seeing me adding a piece of scrap paper here. I initially wrote my quote onto the background and I hated it. So now I've added the scrap paper and I'm adding the quote in. I'm using a variety of items to try to blend it into the background. You saw me using the Crink Oil Paint Stick marker there to draw some lines and dots. I'm using a Posca paint marker in black and a black gel pen to write the quote. And I'm going to add a couple of B's and the goal is to try to let the quote stand out from the page but try to help it to blend in so that you can read it. And once again here is the finished art journal page. You can see it in more detail at my website, myscrapbookevolution.com. You'll find the link below in the notes to this video. You'll also want to head over there and check out the link to the other projects that the artists have created for the Sustainable Souls Art Project Collaboration.